Coming at you 42 feet, two inches in length. Dry weight as this unit currently sits of 13,558 pounds. 2021 Coachman Brookstone. Four slides, outdoor entertainment, maybe an outdoor kitchen, just depending on how you want to look at it. Gonna start on the inside, then work our way out. So if you wanna see some of its outside features, stick around to the end. But before we get started, what's going on everyone i'm andrew with camper kingdom and welcome to the channel if you're new here click the subscribe button it definitely does help me out so let's get started so if you don't care for your traditional style bunkhouse the mid bunk floor plan is definitely the way to go sleeping room for eight nine possibly ten just really depending on the size of your guest four total slides two here in your main living area six foot ten on the slide heights there all of your cabinets are in fact solid wood and on some of them you've got a nice glass accent to it with a light behind it and that's not the light from up on the top there is a light that's actually built into the cabinet there i really like how they've done that it kind of just helps sets the mood solid surface counter countertops in the main living area island in the middle and there is in fact a 110 outlet on the other side i'll show you that in just a moment 18 cubic foot all electric fridge with a built-in 1000 watt inverter and I call this an under over. Is it the correct terminology? I'm not really certain, but that's what I've been calling it for years and it just has stuck. Uh, and that's just what we're gonna roll with. Stainless steel drop-in sink with a high-rise faucet. That way you can definitely wash those pots and pans a lot easier. They've even provided, you know, the extended solid surface there to cover up the sink for more counter space there. Plenty of, you know, storage space underneath. Let me give you a quick shot of some of your pull out drawers ball bearing hinges there standard size graystone oven there glass cooktop so you, once again a little bit of an added you know room for prep space if you need high point that's a convection microwave so around 31 32 inches across and just plenty of prep space again on both sides 55 inch rca flat screen tv and down below you've got the 36 inch all electric gray stone heater 5100 BTUs of actual heat putting off but if you don't camp in the winter you are gonna have, you know have those lights that will definitely once again help set the mood and this is the actual heater itself right here that's gonna be the portion that puts out the most heat looks like you got a built-in drive zone one and two you got different zones for your outdoor speakers indoor speakers DVD player Bluetooth built right in and again a shot of that cool light that's behind these cabinets there that's a it's like a clear almost a fog tint but it's real nice and one thing that points out the good quality your cabinets have like what's called pocket screws it just shows you the different way the quality is built with these cabinet doors here tri-fold sleeper sofa on the back thomas Payne collection furniture you have one ten outlets built into the back here 12 volt and just loads of light switches all throughout the coach I even like how they did the blackout shades, but they've added the vents around them that we don't have to worry about the sunlight peeking through on the sides. And again, tons and tons of cabinet space up on the top. And there's a quick shot of that light. I just, I'm super impressed with the light. I don't know why. Two manual recliners up here on the side. The cup holders are going to have the controls for your heated massage, even that light fixture. Fixture, excuse me, but I'm not plugged into 110. And this is the 110 power so i can't turn this on at the moment to show you what that looks like freestanding table with four chairs and a leaflet on this one's a little bit different i've got it out at the moment but underneath there is just a lever to press and this will drop down nicely you are going to have some carpet inside the coach definitely in the slide out here and you're going to have it in the master bedroom and as well as in the mid bunk floor plan here in the mid bunk area you're looking at sleeping room for three removable table that moves up out of the way top bunk flips up so you can use this for an office space or maybe just a lounging room maybe a gaming room for the kids because you do have that added bonus of the loft bed up on the, above this here they've carried over the glass accent on the cabinets here in the bunkhouse room maybe you can get a better view of that because this cabinet doesn't have those lights inside the cabinets tons of closet space so you got a hanging bar there about 24 inches in depth right there. Five total pull-out drawers. Ball bearings again. So definitely have your share of storage space. 
TV connections, satellite connections all over there with the 110 outlets and probably room for about a 55 to 60 inch TV. Honestly, probably even a bigger than a 60 inch in there. That's just kind of nice. 300 pound low capacity on the top bunk here, but once again, that does flip up out of the way. And you can lock it in place with the locking mechanism provided. And this does pull out, but I'm gonna show you what that looks like here in a moment. Sliding doors in the bunkhouse room, and there's a magnetic latch on it, so both of those will lock in place. So I'm kind of close everybody off about the way. Here inside the hallway, conveniently located next to the entry door, is in fact a coat closet. I really like how they've added this this year. That way you can hang your jackets up as soon as you walk into the door. And even maybe a place to put some shoes down there on the bottom. Maybe your sandals when you're coming from the beach. Three steps up. Ladder dust in fact tucked nicely away. Breeze window located in the hallway also. All of your controls right here in the hallway for the whole entire coach. Tank monitoring stations, your water heater, water pump, and even your 12 volt tank heaters. So you don't have to worry about this you know, coach freezing in the winter. Quick shot of your loft bed there. I like how they've added the little nice safety rail here. Oh, you don't have to worry about little Johnny falling off. Even have TV satellite connections that built into the loft area too, so that's quite nice. Air conditioning vents are there. So heading up into the master bedroom, let me point out the door going in. You know, as you notice, they've carried over that glass smoke tenant kind of accent to the door, just giving it a little bit of extra character. No carpet throughout the master bedroom floor, but you are going to have some in the master bedroom closet. King size bed, and definitely going to have plenty of walk around room. 12 inches of walk around space there, and 14 inches of walk around space here. Breeze windows on both sides of the master bedroom bed, and even an added bonus of an additional window up above. Two air conditioning units, and this little deal here is a sensor control for your actual thermostat. That's where the temperature is detected from up here in the master. That way the two air conditioners can work and sync together. Four different drawers located at the foot of the bed here. And let me show you one thing that caught my attention. First, I was like, what in the world did the factory do? But this actually lifts up for a nice little hiding space, maybe for all the wife's jewelry. TV connections, again, located right over the master bedroom window there. Washer and dryer connections located in the master bedroom closet. Shelf is removable, so if you don't want the shelf, stackable would go in. Or if you didn't want that, you do have added bonus, plus the hanging rod up there on the top. I like how they've done the, the mirror on the sliding door here. Nicely latching there. So let's go into the master bath. Here in the master bath, definitely going to have your share of room in that shower. That thing is absolutely massive. Press membrane countertops with a porcelain sink and a porcelain toilet. Looking like a two-piece shower. And the reason they're doing these two-piece showers is because with a fiberglass unit, if you are to get inside of some of these and it does crack, in order to get that fiberglass piece out, is they're gonna have to cut a hole and pull it out to the side. And you definitely don't want a hole in your camper. It's not gonna be very attractive. Nice place, baby, to hang your towels and a quick shot of your store space here. Sorry about the light. I hope you guys can definitely see that. 110 outlets, light switch again medicine cabinet there and this is the sliding door for the bathroom with that magnetic latch and those things are strong i had a difficult time getting the one in the bunkhouse area open quick view of your storage space underneath the sink there three-piece sliding door here on the actual shower easy to clean and let me show you guys how much room you have not even a step up it's almost like a straight walk in and look at the ceiling height in the Brookstone a1 this is the biggest shower out of all the campers I've reviewed that I've stepped in and let me show you it's got the seat so once again this is the biggest shower I have been in and I've been in quite a few different so I got it laid out in a sleeping configuration to show you guys how much walk around room you're gonna have with the sofas let out and also I got it laid out in the bunkhouse area that's about equivalent to a queen size bed for a camper. So it's a trifold, pulls out, the back lays flat, pulls out in three, 
unlike some of your traditional style sleeper sofas where you're gonna have that obnoxious bar in the back and inside the bunkhouse area more the size of a full-size bed maybe still room for two plus the one up there but you still have plenty of walk around room if you're on the other side sleeping to get around without having to wake up everybody in the bunkhouse area so here on the outside of the unit you're looking at 42 feet two inches in total length four total slides two separate awnings the first awning here you're right at 20 feet and the second one over there over the dining area you're looking at around 10 feet of awning space led lights of course underneath both of your awnings frameless windows to the whole entire coach with 80 percent tent safety glass throughout 10 inch drop frame construction and since you got the drop frame you're going to get one massive storage compartment up front and let me point out some construction to you with the actual coach three inch actual frame over the actual cabin area here some of its competitors are only going to have about a two inch construction there so that is very massive tv connections provided underneath the under storage here and i like how they've done the compartment doors some units try to save money and make these things really thin you're looking at a two inch thickness here with the magnets to hold it in place and also it does have the slam latches there 110 outlets again provided there on the outside and one smaller outdoor kitchen with a plastic sink so hot and cold water and a little mini fridge here so you can have beverages outside solid step steps they do flip up and inside the coach bigger platform up on the top making it easier to get in and out with the fully adjustable legs with the pin so you're not going to have the single button to push you do have to find the hole by wiggling and jiggling to get it in there 16 inch wheels with the upgraded suspension road armor that's going to allow you to have that much more of a nicer ride and a quick shot of your rack and pinion slides here on the back of the coach you're looking at a fully walkable roof with the ladder blind side camera already prepped steel bumper so you definitely have the place to store all of your sewer lines 50 amp connection is located back here on the back with a two inch receiver this is not for towing this is only going to be utilized for maybe a bike rack or a luggage rack 300 pound capacity coming around to the driver's side of coach quick view of your rack and pinion slide and the spare tire locations back here on the back once again slide toppers all the way throughout the coach on all four slides with the frameless windows down and dirty all of your sewer connections are located underneath the mid bunk slide and you do have one full handle down there for your black tank and you will have more other of them up here located in the water management system 10 gallon gas and electric hot water heater and take a look again at the massive amount of storage space you're going to have in this front compartment all of your city water connections black tank flush outdoor shower and all of your cable connections are nicely organized pretty easy there to read 110 outlets also provided battery disconnect inside the main compartment there and up here in the front are all of your leveling system controls located here so definitely within a lot of sight of the kingpin on the front but i wish they would have put them on the side some people don't like to bend over once again thanks to all the new subscribers like subscribe leave a comment come see us